The agency has continued to verify the non-diversion of declared nuclear material in Iran. However, there has been no movement on remaining issues of concern, which need to be clarified for the agency to verify the exclusively peaceful nature of Iran's nuclear program. It is now well over a year since the agency was last able to engage Iran in discussions about these outstanding issues. We have effectively reached a dead end. Unless Iran engages fully with us, it would help if we are able to share with Iran more of the material that is at the center of these concerns. I also believe that prospects for a resolution of these outstanding issues would be enhanced by Iran implementing the additional protocol and, and by the initiation of the hoped for comprehensive dialogue between Iran and the international community. In September, Iran informed the agency that it has decided to construct a new pilot fuel enrichment plant. The agency has since carried out design information verification at this plant and verified that it is being built to contain 16 cascades with a total of approximately 3,000 centrifuges. The facility is at an advanced stage of construction, and Iran plans to make it operational in 2011. Iran stated that construction of the, of the plant was part of its effort to protect sensitive nuclear activities against attack by using, quote, passive defense systems, unquote. Iran failure to notify the agency of the existence of this facility until September 2009, rather than as soon as the decision to construct it or to authorize construction was taken, was inconsistent with its obligations under the subsidiary arrangements to its safeguard agreement. Iran's late declaration of the new facility reduces confidence in the absence of other nuclear facilities under construction in Iran, which have not been declared to the agency. As you may be aware, the agency has been asked by Iran for assistance in providing fuel for the Tehran research reactor, which is used mainly to produce isotopes for medical purposes. After a positive response from the United States, Russia, and France, a meeting was convened by the agency in Vienna in October to discuss the principles and modalities of an agency project and supply agreement to provide such fuel. On the basis of the discussions at this meeting, I prepared a draft agreement to ship Iranian low enriched uranium for further enrichment in Russia and processing into fuel in France. In view of the degree of mutual distrust, the draft agreement has extensive built-in guarantees consisting of the agency taking custody of the Iranian material until it is returned to Iran in the form of fuel. In addition to commitments by Russia, France, and the United States to ensure that the agreement is implemented. Alternatively, I propose that the LEU could be shipped to a third country, such as Turkey, which has the confidence of all parties and remain there under agency custody until the reactor fuel is delivered to Iran. The proposed agreement, as originally drafted, was accepted by the United States, Russia, and France. I am disappointed that Iran has not so far agreed to the original proposal or the alternative modalities, both of which I believe are balanced and fair and would greatly help to alleviate the concern relating to Iran's nuclear program. My understanding of Iran's position so far is that it is ready to exchange LEU produced in Iran in two batches, simultaneously upon receipt of an equivalent amount of fuel for its research reactor. Pending receipt of the fuel, Iran is ready to place the LEU under IA custody and control, but only in Iran. The proposed agreement is meant to ensure the continued operation of the Tehran Research Reactor and maintain its ability to produce medical isotopes so that cancer patients receive the treatment they need. But equally important 
or even more important, it would also help to bring about a shift away from confrontation towards cooperation and open the way for a broad dialogue between Iran and the international community. In my view, the proposed agreement represents a unique opportunity after many years of animosity and hostility to address a humanitarian need and create a space for negotiation. This opportunity should be seized and it would be highly regrettable if it was missed.